Republican U.S. Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner from Wisconsin held another town hall meeting today. His last one was the scene of protesting after he said people with green cards from countries affected by Trump's immigration order should not be allowed in the U.S. Lauren Winfrey is live in Pewaukee. Lauren, how did the town hall go today? Katie, the question of where the congressman stands on the president's immigration order did come up during today's town hall meeting. And although a lot of people here didn't agree with what he had to say, there weren't any protests this time around. He really stepped on him, his toes. He, he can't object to people saying the word ban when the president used the word itself. Pewaukee resident Aaron Madison says Congressman Sensenbrenner didn't do a good job of answering the questions related to President Trump's immigration order. But in a room full of constituents, the dozens of questions for the congressman were continuous and the views varied. He's listening to people. He's honest and stating his views, which may not agree with many of the people who come. Jane Spear isn't necessarily in favor of the congressman's policies, but she appreciates the town hall platform he's provided for citizens to voice concerns even if they disagree. I don't agree with many of his um, with many of his positions, but I respect that he is representing his people, his constituents. Questions raised at the town hall meeting were related to everything from the future of the Affordable Care Act to Social Security and national safety concerns. Madison says he left the meeting feeling more hopeful than expected. I feel a little better about him. That's the first time I've been to one of these. He actually strikes me as a little bit more personable and there's a, I actually found some common ground here and there. And coming up on Live at 6, we'll hear from a man who drove out here to the Pewaukee Public Library but never made it inside the room. At Live in Pewaukee, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4.